when you create a website, which is a collection of web pages, when you create a website, you want to create a folder to house your uh, web pages. So what you're going to do here is if you want to create your folder on the fly as you're creating that first page for your website, I'll just start with my, you know, I'll start typing stuff in like uh, Alan's Automotive Resources. That's the name of my web page. And I'm ready for this, so I'm going to save it somewhere. I want to save it on my W drive or on my student drive. But I need to create a folder at the same time when I first create this uh, file. So what you're going to do here is so I'm just going to type in uh, Al's auto page, which is just the title, just the stuff that goes up in the either the tab or the title bar of the browser. But when you get to the part where you want to start saving the stuff, of course my first page will be called index.html, but I want to create a folder in which to save it. So I'm going to create it on my W drive. Let's see if my W drive works. I've been having issues with it. So just pretend that it was. I'll call it my auto site. Yeah, I can't. I'll do it on the C drive here just because my W drive is not working today. So this is my auto site. So now I have a folder by creating it here and I'll save that index file into this folder. Now when I create a second page another blank document. I'll call this uh, this is a second page for that particular site which might have the price of auto service. Well, when I save this and you'd be doing this much later but I'll save it. I need to give it a I'll say auto service prices click OK and when I save it somewhere I'm going to save it within the auto site folder. So all of my HTML folders will be saved here. Uh, never save your file names, your, your web page names with spaces. I'll just call this one prices.html. Click Save and that's where it is going to uh, save it to. Also, you, while you're here, even if you don't have any images yet, what I would get you to do is to create yourself a subfolder to the auto site or to the uh, name of the site that you've chosen. Uh, for the folder. Create a new folder below it. So make sure that you're within this folder, your folder, and click on new folder and call it images or pics or pictures or IMG. In other, in other words, a place to store your and just click somewhere else and now you have that folder. Create it while you're still in this one. Create another one here called assets. That's another place where we could throw in maybe some audio files if we have them uh, or it, it could be uh, some other types of files that you might want associated with your web page. So we'll have another one for assets here. And we can even cancel this. The folders are created, so we'll know when we want to throw stuff in there. And so that's how we create a folder if we want to do it while we're working with Composer. And of course you know how to create folders, I believe, when you go into your um, your My Computer, your file manager, which is you just make sure you go into the drive where you want the folder created. You Click on New Folder. Call this one my website, and another. And this is where I would be saving all of my HTML files for that particular website. So I keep them all uh, together. And that's a quick tutorial on what to do if you're creating folders for websites. So keep in mind one folder, one main folder for all of your HTML files per website. So you might have ten web pages in that website. Those 10 web pages will be stored in that one folder.